This is Mahmoud Hassan Maras. Welcome to another solution tutorial of Sordas. Today we are going to solve this 3D problem. In this 3D problem, this is the top view, this is the front view, and this is the right side view. First, I will start drawing from the this polygon. Here we can see this polygon has a dimension from this vertical line, and this vertical line is 100 unit. So let's start. First, select the top plane then select sketch now select polygon and the parameter 6 number of size 6 now select this origin now draw a polygon after that go to smart dimension and select this to vertical line and dimension it to 100 unit now press ok now i will isometric it and here we can see the polygon has a extrude boss of 20 unit so go to features and extrude boss extrude boss it to 20 unit okay after that i will draw this inner part we can see it has a symmetry along this three line so first i will draw this inner circle uh, which has a dimension of 20 radius then i will draw three center line from this three place and this three center line has offset of 24 i can say it has offset of 12 this side and 12 other side and then we have semicircle in every top of in, in every corner and the semicircle is 12 radius and after that we have another thing that is a inner circle here and the inner circle dimension is given here which is a radius of 6 so first draw the uh, inner circle of uh, 20 radius then we will draw a center line then we will proceed uh, from then now I will select this face now sketch now normal to it first select the circle and draw a circle of radius 20 okay now press ok now select a center line and draw a center line along here and select again origin and draw a center line here okay now select another center line and draw a center line here as we can see we have drawn our all the center line now i will offset it now i will offset it to 24 which means i will offset this side in 12 unit and other side is 12 unit so now select offset entities now dimension it to 12 okay now select this line and uh, select by direction and cap int and line now select other line of also now press ok after that we can see we have a constructed geometry circle and this constructed geometry circle is 10 minus 12 from this side and 12 from this side so i will draw a constructed circle the constructed circle is 100 minus 12 minus 12 okay now right click it and now select construction geometry okay now select the circle again and point here and draw a circle uh, of 24 diameter and also this side select this point and draw another circle and also this point and draw another circle okay after that we here we have little circle inside the semicircle and and this little circle has a radius of 6 so i will again select the circle and draw a circle from that origin now dimension it to uh, 6 
dimension to six uh, radius okay now here also same six radius circle and another circle also here six radius circle i am multiplying by two because i am dimensioning to di diameter okay now select the trim entities and trim all the unnecessary but you don't need in your work so trim this and get the original shape okay uh, trim carefully so that you don't trim the necessary part so trim this side this portion this portion it looks like we have almost trimmed everything but we are not getting the close shape because if we zoom around this corner we can see that there is extra line so uh, try to trim those line also otherwise you can get error while extrude bossing so zoom here and there in every corner and this side okay we are almost done then the last side zoom the corners and trim the line now it is quite blue because it has become a close shape okay you can see we have done this now we can we have to extrude boss this we will extrude boss this to 50 minus 20 uh, which will be 30 so go to features and extrude boss Extrude boss is to 50 minus 20. Okay, it is 30. Now press OK. Now we can we can see that this inner circle, which is extrude cut through the end of the object, but we have drawn the object. It is not extrude cut beyond this surface. So we need to extrude cut throughout the surface the body so I will select this face and select sketch now I will convert into this now again select this face and now convert into this and select this inner face and convert into this as you can say we have drawn our shape now I will extrude cut through the end now select extrude cut now through all both side now press ok now it is looking like our uh, extrude cut is through the body okay next we'll start drawing this shape and uh, this semicircle and the vertical lines so we can see that this shape also have symmetry along this center line so i'll first draw this three center line then draw the uh, for drawing the semicircle i will draw the circle and then uh, use the offset entities to draw this line then i will trim the all unnecessary part then i will extrude cut and this extrude cut we can see it has extrude cut of 10 we are talking about this inner shape extrude cut shape so let's start so i will first draw this three center line okay now i am selecting this face and now sketch after that i will normal to it now select the center line after selecting center line place it to origin and place to the center of this line okay now again select the origin and place another center line now our last center line select to the origin and place it to here okay now i will draw uh, the semicircle for drawing the semicircle i will use the circle so here we can see we, again we have the constructed geometry of the circle the constructed geometry of this circle is 
100 minus 12 from this side and 12 from this side from that concentric geometry circle i will draw this semicircle here here and here okay now select circle place the circle to the origin and now dimension in it to 100 100 minus 12 minus 12 now okay now right click and select construction geometry okay now select the circle and place the circle and draw the circle from this circle we will trim that and we will draw the semicircle so first of all we are drawing the circle okay here you can see we have some vertical lines the vertical lines is 12 unit apart from the center line from one side and also it will be unit apart from the other side so total is 24 so we won't draw this uh, like this but we will draw uh, it from the offset entities of the center line so i will select the offset entities now select this center line and against this center line and this center line and make sure to select uh, by direction and cap in and line press ok now i will trim all the unnecessary part okay trim the all the unnecessary part okay now trim this one and this one and this one this one as you can see we have trimmed but it isn't close shape again because we have a little time little trim left here so we have to zoom it and trim the corners uh, which have edges so zoom this one also and trim it this corner now you can see it is giving a blue shape because it is a close shape but this is not a close shape so we will make it to close shape okay we have got everything now i will isometric it now go to features and extrude cut here you can see it has a extrude cut of 10 so i will extrude cut it to 10 unit so select 10 okay now press ok after that we can see we have a inner circle of extrude cut which has a radius of 6 so i will draw three circle and then extrude cut it to through all okay select this face now sketch now normal to it now select this circle and place the circle to the origin of the of our previous circle now draw a circle of six radius okay do the same for the other three side other two side also now six into into okay now the third side dimension to six radius okay now press okay isometric it now go to features and extrude cut uh, you can select the dimension manually but i will select uh, through all both okay after that we have here uh, another thing here we can see every this shape has a inclined cut the inclined cut is 25 degree and the it is apart from the original line is 25 so i will draw a inclined cut apart from inclined cut apart from is uh, 25 unit from the origin and i will draw it to this side and this side and this side okay now i'll select this face now sketch it now normal to it select a point and place the point to the upper surface now it's my dimension and select this point and the origin and now dimension it to 25 unit after that draw select a line and draw a line now select is my dimension and dimension it to 
ओके ना प्रेस ओके आई उल यूज कर्नर रेक्टेंगल टू मेक इट ए क्लोज शेप बिकज इट उल सेव माई टाइम नाउ आई सिलेक्ट द ट्रीम इंटिटीज नाउ ट्रीम दर्नेसरि पार्ट प्रेस ओके नाउ आई उल सिलेक्ट फीचार्स एंड एक्सट्रोड कार्ड एंड एक्सट्रोड कार्ड इट एंड आई उल डुईंग द सेम थिंग टू अदार टू side so i will select this face now is sketch now normal to it now select a point and place the point to the upper line now is my dimension select the point and the origin and dimension it to 25 unit now press okay and then select a line and draw a line now select is my dimension and dimension the line to 25 degree now i will close the shape i will use the corner rectangle to make it easier and less time consuming now i will select trim entities and trim all the necessary part now press ok now isometric it now go to features and extrude cut now press ok and select that our final and third face uh, select a sketch I uh, normal to it now select a point and place the point here and it's my dimension select the point and origin and dimension it to 25 unit now press ok select a line and draw a, an inclined line and after that dimension it to 25 degree okay now i will close the shape okay so trim the necessary part press okay now isometric it go to features and it should cut now press okay now here you can see we have drawn our 3d sketch thanks thank you for watching till the end thanks for watching and keep learning be different